We will solve another question in Ethernet. We will dive into the question directly. The question is, determine the maximum length of the cable in kilometers for transmitting data at a rate of 500 megabits per second in an Ethernet LAN with a frame size of 10,000 bits. Assume the signal speed in the cable to be 2 lakh kilometers per second. This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2013 and the options are given. Option A 1, Option B 2, Option C 2.5 and Option D 5. All these values are in kilometers. Before solving this problem, let's analyze the given data. We are given with three different data. One is the data rate, that is the bandwidth. The second one is the frame size, which is 10,000 bits or 10 power 4 bits. And the third one is the signal speed or the propagation speed, which is 2 lakh kilometers per second. In other words, it is 2 into 10 power 5 kilometers per second. We will solve it now. So we will write the given data. The given data are the rate of transmission or the bandwidth, which is 500 megabits per second. And the size is 10 power 4 bits. And finally, the signal speed, which is 2 into 10 power 5 kilometers per second. And now we will solve it. We know the transmission time is greater than or equal to the round trip time of 1 bit. Already we have seen the round trip time. It is the 2 times of the propagation time. I am just substituting the round trip time is 2 times of the propagation time. So we get transmission time is greater than or equal to 2 times of the propagation time. If you want to know how did we get this, just watch my previous lecture title round trip time. I will bring this last equation to a fresh page. So this is what we obtained in the previous step. Now we know transmission time means it's transmission delay and propagation time means propagation delay. We have become very familiar with these two formulas. Why? Because we have seen some examples and we have dealt about this elaborately in the previous lectures. We know the transmission time is message size upon bandwidth and we also know the propagation time or propagation delay is the length upon the propagation speed. So we have transmission time in the left hand side and we have propagation time in the right hand side. We will just replace this message size upon bandwidth in the left hand side and length by propagation speed on the right hand side. So we will get message size upon bandwidth is equal to this two remains here as such and instead of propagation time we will get the length upon propagation speed. So we have message size upon bandwidth is equal to two times of the length upon propagation speed. We have four parameters here, message size, bandwidth, length and propagation speed. And we are required to find this length only and the data for other three parameters are given in the question. So we will just substitute. What's the message size? It's 10 power 4. And what's the bandwidth? It's 500 megabits. And what is the propagation speed? It is 2 into 10 power 5 kilometers per second. And this length only we are going to find. I have just substituted the given data in this equation. So we will start up with a very fresh page and we will bring the previous step here. So we got the previous step here and what I am going to do here is I am just going to replace this length with L. Now what we will do is we will simplify this part. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So we will get L by 10 power 5 kilometers per second in the right hand side. Then what we will do? We will take this to this side. What happens? This denominator part will become the numerator. So we will get 10 power 4 bits into 10 power 5 kilometers per second that is this value divided by 500 megabits per second is greater than or equal to L. These two steps are the same. Then what we will do? We will simplify this. This 500 megabits per second it is the data rate. So data rate means 1 megabit is equal to 10 power 6 bits per second that is 500 into 10 power 6 bits per second. So we will get the numerator remains the same as such and the denominator becomes 500 into 10 power 6 bits per second. I will bring this to this side that is here. So now we will simplify. In the numerator we have 10 power 5 and the denominator we have 10 power 6. When it gets cancelled we will be having 10 in the denominator. So we are retaining this 10. At the same time in the numerator we have bits and here also we have bits per second. So obviously the dominating unit will be kilometers per second. So I am just retaining this kilometers per second. And then we have 10 power 4 kilometers per second upon 500 into 10. When we simplify 10 power 4 divided by 500 into 10, we will get 2 kilometers which is greater than or equal to L. And that's it, we got the answer. So the maximum length is 2 kilometers. We will revisit the question now. So we had just determined the maximum length of the cable in kilometer. So the answer is option B, 2. And that's it guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.